Hey, yo, Shy. What's good, Rakeef? Yo, there go the east side, it's right there. Oh, word. Yo, hey, hey, what? What are you doing? Crossing the street. Can you hold my hand, oh? I'm scared. Shad, you got a better chance of a T-Rex coming out and eating you than you do getting hit by a car on this empty street. One step. Yeah, there you go, two step. Yeah, we crossing the street now. Oh! Oh! Welcome to Mark Strong Edits. Today, we're gonna to take a look at my process of creating this alien abduction effect using Blender and After Effects. My first step in this process was to create the UFO using Blender. This is just a quick time lapse of my process for modeling, texturing, and animating the UFO. If you would be interested in a separate tutorial going through the process of creating this UFO in Blender, let me know down in the comment section. Once the UFO animation was complete, it was exported as a PNG sequence with a transparent background. So all I have is the UFO in the scene. Now hopping into After Effects, I've placed my footage in the timeline. I'm gonna right click in the project window and under import, I'm gonna select multiple files. Select the first image in your sequence, make sure the PNG sequence box is checked and hit open. We can now drag our PNG sequence on top of our footage in the timeline. To improve the animation, I'm gonna add a directional blur to the UFO layer and animate the blur direction and the blur length. Next, we're gonna work on our actor being lifted into the UFO. We'll start by duplicating our footage, and to stay organized, I'll change the layer color to yellow. I'll trim the layer to end at the point when the UFO jumps upward, and I'll trim it to start just a few frames before that. With the yellow layer selected, we'll choose the animation window and select Track in Boris FX Mocha. We'll hit the Mocha button in the effects window. Make sure you're in a full render view or you'll get an error message. Now in Mocha, using the spline tool, we'll create a mask around the actor. Once the mask is complete, hit the track forward button and be sure to make any needed mask adjustments along the way. I'm gonna create another mask layer and mask around the inside of the legs. I'll track this area too. To save my track data, I'll click the arrow down icon in the upper left hand corner and close out of Mocha. Under the mat drop down, we'll select create AE mask. I'll turn off my background layer for now. I'll hit M on the keyboard to bring up my mask and change layer 2 to a subtract layer. I'm now going to find a point in my footage where the scene is empty. I'll press Shift Command D on the keyboard to duplicate the layer at this point. And to stay organized, we'll change the layer color to purple and rename our footage BG Still. We'll move this layer in the timeline to match up directly under our yellow layer. With the pen tool selected, we'll make a mask around the right portion of the screen. We'll hit T on the keyboard to bring up opacity and select the stopwatch to enable keyframes and animate the background to fade in smoothly. We'll hit F on the keyboard and feather out any sharp edges from our mask. With the yellow layer selected, we'll hit P on the keyboard and animate the position of the actor being lifted into the UFO. We'll hit the toggle switches button at the bottom of the screen and enable motion blur. We'll right click on our yellow layer and choose pre-compose and we'll choose move all attributes and hit OK. Right clicking in the effects panel and under RGVFX we'll choose shadow. This step is optional because it requires a pricey plugin called Red Giant VFX. 
but we'll just adjust our shadow to match the actor's original shadow in the scene. To create our UFO beam, we'll create a new solid and we'll make it green and we'll name this UFO beam. Clicking the toggle switches button at the bottom of the screen, we'll change the layer transfer mode to classic color dodge. And using our pen tool, we'll create a mask to form our UFO beam. We'll hit F on the keyboard and feather out our mask and we'll lower the mask opacity as well. Next, we'll hit the stopwatch to enable keyframes for the mask path, and we'll animate the path of the UFO beam. We'll double click our pre-composed layer, and we'll copy our yellow layer. Hopping back into our main composition, we'll paste our yellow layer underneath our pre-compose and we'll match them up. We'll add an effect to this later on. Selecting our UFO beam layer, we'll hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. We'll right click in the effects panel and we'll add Saber from Video Copilot. We'll hit the customize core drop down and we'll change the core type to layer mask. And there's several presets to choose from, so just search for one that matches your footage best. Lastly, we'll copy our Saber effect from our UFO beam and paste it to our yellow layer and we'll animate the opacity and core size. And that about wraps up this video. Thanks for checking out this tutorial guys. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section or if there's any other tutorials you'd like for me to make in the future. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.